What have you got? Well, today we've got chicken on the menu. So we've got this beautiful chicken breast. We've got some pancetta, which is just like posh bacon, which we're going to wrap it off. And we're going to bake it all in one dish. So it's a really easy recipe. And we've got leeks in there. We've got some thyme, a little bit of cream, and a little bit of, my friend, white wine in there. So we're going to bake it all in one dish, and it's going to create this beautiful, whiny, creamy, leaky sauce. The chicken's going to be cooked. We've got that bacon in there. And I'm going to serve it with some mashed potato. But this is going to probably be the best mashed potato you've ever had. I'm going to show you all the secrets a little bit later. And yes, of course, it's got my favourite ingredient, butter, <laughs> in it. And a little bit of cream. So now it's over to Mel. OK, sweet. <laughs> we are in the cafe kitchen. Uh, today we're doing chicken. I love chicken. I do love chicken, yep. but I, I find ways to cook it quite difficult. So you're going to show us something new today. Yep. So we've got a really simple recipe. Yep. We're going to cook it all in one tray. And nice. Like the uh, one pot wonders. Yep. It's really good. And uh, we're going to put all the ingredients in and it's going to cook, cook the chicken, flavour the chicken mm. and create a sauce around the chicken. Ah, beautiful. So that can be doing its, um, all the stuff for the cooking in the oven. Yep. And then you can concentrate on this mashed potato. Well, you said before this could be the best mashed potato we have ever eaten. So this will be the best. No pressure. What do we need? <laughs> Right, so we've got the potatoes, potatoes on first. Yep. So potatoes are just uh, cooking now. Any particular potatoes? Uh, agri potatoes. Yep. So I peeled them, cut them into nice thick chunks like that. Okay. Not too small. If the if you do them really small, uh, you're going to get a lot of water retention in the potato. Okay. You don't want that. Oh, good tip. Okay. So uh, lightly salted water. Yes. So they've just been sort of simmering away. Bring it up to the boil. Turn it down. Simmer it, and then just when they're nice and soft, we're going to drain them off so they'll be ready not too far away. But first of all, we're going to get the um, chicken on. Okay. Good. So. We'll pop the chicken in the bowl. Pop the chicken in yeah. the bowl. And then we're gonna we're gonna season everything. So a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, cool. And then you can give it a good season and good look of olive oil as well. And then just mix all that around. Okay, salt and pepper. The pepper, a bit of salt. And some coming. olive oil. Have a big salt. Yeah. Thank you. Be quite generous. Okay. Right, and then we go, uh, we go. got our leek. Okay, nice. so nice big leek. Underrated vegetable, the leek. Isn't oh, I it? love, I love leeks. So you just, just got to know what to do with them, I think. Well, I'm going to show you that now. Okay, good. So just take the outer, <laughs> la outer layer off. Okay. So you've got to be careful because leeks obviously grow in the soil, mm -hmm. and then they start from like a little seed, grow up through the soil. So you do get a lot of soil in here. So, oh, if, okay. I, so if I just chop that, you know, sometimes oh, I can see it all in there. here, yeah, yeah, you've got a little bit here. So it is important to wash this. Right. Okay. I'm just going to take the end bit off because that's a bit tough. Yeah, get rid of that. that. Right. It's going to cut it in half. So it's up to you how, however you want to cook it. Uh, okay. Cut it. I'm just going to cut it into quarters. Nice. And then I'm just going to do nice pieces like this. I guess about a centimetre apart. Yeah, I mean, something like this. You know, this is going to cook. So you've got to think, how long does uh, the chicken cook in the oven? So we're going to bake it about 200 degrees. Yep. So probably about 25, 30 minutes, you know, and then about another five minute resting time. So cut your leeks to, um, you know, the size that it's going to cook in like 20, 25 minutes. OK. You know, if you leave awesome. it in big chunks, it's still going to be hard. Right, so we've got that. So you can put the leeks in with the chicken. OK, cool. All right. And, um, you know, make sure you've got good season in there, lots of oil as well. Everything's coated. Right. So we're starting, we're starting that process of, of getting all the flavour in there now. OK, yum. OK. Good old trusty leek, eh? You know, yeah, give it stir a wash it up. and use the green parts as well. Yeah, give it a good stir up. Right, and then we've got some thyme. So. This is great as well, you know, grow, grow all this in the garden, you can grow the leeks mm. in the garden, got the thyme in the garden, you know, just run out, pick it. People are doing more in. and more of that, aren't they? You oh, know, they're definitely. just using little pots and they're using their own little, you know, sort of backyard areas if they're even in apartments and just creating their own little herbs and spices. Oh, There's definitely. nothing quite like it. It is. Fantastic flavour and it's pretty easy to do. You've just got to remember to water it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's throw the key, in, key ingredient <laughs> in there. Right, and they're going to put a little bit of rosemary in as well. Yep. Because we grow that as well in the garden. That goes in there. So you've got some nice seasoning. All right, and then now we can put um, put a bed of leeks on there and then we can put the um, chicken breasts on top. So you can oh, do that. Okay, cool. Nice. What about the rosemary? You, you want that on the yeah. top? No, no, no. Put leave that in, it in there. It's all flavour. Okay, good. Nice. A right. bed of leeks. A bed of leeks. Okay, this is good. Because sometimes I've uh, kind of screwed my nose up at leeks. <laughs> but I think this is going to be fantastic. No, it's great. Like leeks are fantastic, and it works really well with cream and white wine as well. How so pop the chicken, pop the chicken on top. Yep. Okay. Right, and then, so it's going to flip it over, and then I'm just going to wrap a couple of sheets of pancetta oh, on the top. Oh, now you're talking. Do you so want both bits? Yep. Yep. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Right. So that is going <laughs> to need to feed them all. Yeah. So that's going to help flavour the chicken as well. 
Works really well with leeks as well. You know, all these flavours are fantastic with leeks. Flavour the chicken, it's going to protect it a bit as well because we haven't got the skin on this chicken. Okay, I might right. as well use the rest of these. Oh, there you get it in. Right, white wine. Yeah, white wine, so good. Good glug of white wine in there and then some cream. So just pour that, pour that in and around. Yum. I'm not pouring that over the top of the chicken breast, I'll try not to. Uh, just because we want, um, you know, the cream's going with the leeks and stuff. You, if you get the cream over there, it's not really going to get crispy. Okay, okay, nice. And then I'm just going to give it another little lug of olive oil over the top of the pancetta. Great. And then that's going to go straight in the oven about Brilliant. 200 degrees for about sort of 25, 35 minutes, you know, depending on the size of your chicken. Oh, we've got a recipe to finish off. So the potatoes are done, are they? Yeah, so the potatoes yep. are cooked, so they're nice and soft. So if you want to drain those off through the sieve. Cool, I can do that. Yeah, and then I'll show you a little tip. Right, to make this the best mashed potato, some cream. <laughs> the best mashed potato. <laughs> I believe you, Mark. Oh, you wait until you try it, you'll love it. Um, some cream, and we're going to reduce that down a bit. Okay, cool. Right, here we go. So we got, so we drain the um, potatoes off. Yeah, I might overboil them slightly for you. Sorry about yeah, that. A little bit, yeah, trying to stitch me. <laughs> right, pop the potatoes back in the pan. Yes. And then back on the heat. Back on the heat. Right, and then that's just going to evaporate any sort of like moisture. little bit of moisture there. Yep. Oh. Okay. And lost your masher. And then. We're going to pass the potato, so this is quite important. So you can, at this stage, get a, a potato masher if you want and just yeah. start mashing it. But we well, are talking about the best mashed potatoes. Yes, well. okay. So, uh, fine sieve over a bowl. When they're nice and dry. Are you going to pop push them in? the sieve? No, you are. Uh, oh. <laughs> Back of a spoon. And then that nice sort of flick in the wrists through the sieve, so you carry on. We'll oh, swap that places looks time-consuming. Yeah, but it's so all about... put it in a blender? No. Oh. <laughs> Okay, oh gee. Well, you could put it in a blender, but then because of the starch in the potato, it just make it really like sloppy right. and starchy and rough. Yeah, so you need to do it like this. So the cream's reducing down, so that's just going to make it extra rich, and we're going to pop that through it. And then, of course, what else are we going to put in? We're going to put butter! Yes. Butter! So I don't know why I said that <laughs> so loud and enthusiastically. I think you get more excited than butter than I Well, no, I love butter. I'm like you. <laughs> we live in a land where butter is just beautiful. So. All right, that's uh, it. So that's all. Am I doing all right? Didn't take, didn't take too no, long. No, it didn't take too long so at all. Carefully lift the sieve up. Okay. And then any <gasps> sort of bits of potato, just get that in as well. Okay. Well, look at right, that. It's going to make your potato nice and fine. So there's nothing worse than having mashed potato with lumps in it. No. All right, so this will alleviate that problem. That's incredible. This is like potato gold. That's no, great. And then the key is now is to work fast. Okay. Okay, so using the heat of the potatoes. <laughs> So I'm going to put a little bit of this cream, so this reduced cream in there, yep. so that's just going to give it some extra richness. Quickly, quickly okay. Mark. <laughs> and then we're going to pop butter in. So a little bit at a time, and then you want to beat the butter in. Okay. Okay, so keep beating it in. The heat from the potato is going to melt the melt butter. The butter. So you're just thinking it's almost like an emulsion, a bit like mayonnaise, like a little bit of fat in at a time. Yep. Beat it in, you can see it's coming nice and glossy. Oh, I think you're going to be right about just oh, how good this is going to be. That, you know. Oh, so, so, someone's this going, is oh, that's so a lot good. Of but if you were in France, that wouldn't even be half the amount of butter you'd put in there. Wow. But you can see it's just rich and see that nice sort of yellow tinge to the potato? Right. Yeah, that means it's got lots of butter in. It's rich and smooth, just like oh. your missus thought when she married you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> right, and then uh, a little, I mean, she was little bit of salt. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of salt. I like black pepper in uh, mashed potatoes. Some people say it's a little bit too strong, so if you if you feel like that, use a little bit of white um, pepper, which works really well. Okay. So you've got nice, shiny, beautiful, thick, rich potato. Give it a taste to see where we're at. Oh, this looks incredible. Okay. This is going to be the big taste test. I love my mashed potato. That is beautiful. <laughs> Creamy, rich, beautiful. Quite fluffy too, light and fluffy, you know? That's the beat. Not overwhelming. That is good. Okay. <laughs> nice tips. I'm going to get do that when I get home. And in the meantime, our chicken's just been cooking away, isn't it? Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Okay, so we're just about ready, we're just about ready to do this, yeah, aren't yeah. we? So, so yeah, yeah, the, the chicken's cooking. Yep. So chicken's cooking, so that old self uh, sauce, a beautiful sauce with that. You've got this beautiful, rich mashed potato. Mm. Obviously, because it's so rich, you only need a little bit, you know? You don't yeah. want a whole bowl of this. Um, just a nice nice little bit, beautiful chicken breast, and then that like leaky, whiny sauce. It's going to be fantastic. Fantastic. If you want the recipe, go to thecafe.co.nz. Mark, it's time to serve up your chicken, your pa pancetta, your thyme and leek. Oh, it smells good. Well, look at that. So it's been baking. It's come out of the oven. Leeks have softened. Pop them on. We've got a beautiful mash, and then the chicken. Serve it whole straight on top. Look at that. 
Beautiful dish, really simple and tasty, and possibly the best mash in the world.